Hi friends, Dr. Allie here with the Good Timer team. I want to talk about a skill that the vast majority of parents I speak to really, really want their kids to have. And that is, they want the kind of kid who can take initiative, who wants to take initiative, who, who just does naturally without being told to do so. Right? This is this is a real pipe dream for many of us. Um, and there are kids who do this. So why do we want this? Because we want to motivate our kids to live up to their potential. We want them to feel intrinsically motivated to live up to their potential, right? And this makes sense because if they are self-motivated to initiate and finish tasks now as kids, that's a foundational element for later success in life, right? So as we've all seen, kids often will procrastinate tasks and projects, especially if it's a task or a project that they either dislike or don't feel confident that they'll be able to complete successfully. So as parents, how can we foster this sense of initiative to help them thrive, right? Um, after all, if your kid is taking initiative, they likely have some advantages. They are maybe going to get better grades or act with more resilience, right? So. How do we empower our kids in this arena? Well, we want to promote relationships and experiences that teach our kids to trust that they are capable, okay? Kids can begin to develop these skills and this feeling that they are independently capable as early as preschool, okay? How do we do this? Um, give them little jobs, little responsibilities. If you're out to a restaurant, don't order for them. Have them tell the server that they want a burger, right? It's, it's, it's little things, but they start to understand that they have a voice in the world. And then all of a sudden the motivation to like make that voice louder um, starts to boil within them. Let your kids get bored is another way. Um, you want them to reach this place where they have to get creative to amuse themselves, right? And take that initiative to start an activity or engage in play. Um, you also want to be a model for them. So you want to set this example where you yourself take initiative to nurture identities that are not mom. Okay, so for example, look, our kids, don't really notice, or at least my kids don't notice when I'm like, I am gonna make something new for dinner tonight. Like they don't, they don't care. You know, that's that's all me, right? But what about my um, identity as a best friend? Let's say if I say, oh, you know, my my best friend lives in California. I am gonna send her flowers for her birthday today. I'm gonna take that initiative. I'm gonna do that. That's gonna make me feel really good, and it's gonna make her feel really good. You know, that is inspiring to them because the mom stuff is is really close. But if they can see you as a human in the world taking your own in initiative, that is really powerful modeling. Remember to use your good timer to create goals and incentives, right? You want to guide your kids toward challenges and encourage them along their journeys. Long-term projects can be super effective. They help kids develop a sense of perseverance in the face of challenges. And an example might be like a long-term plan to organize the playroom or memorize state capitals, that kind of thing. Good luck.